So picturesque, so quiet, so small, and yet it's just a five hour train ride from the center of London. Cornwall is, it is one of the most sort of beautiful coastlines in the country. It has some of the most dramatic scenery and villages and you won't find anywhere else in the world. It is a beautiful set, this village, which I'm sure some of the locals would be quite annoyed with me for saying because it's not their home. But uh, there's this lovely semicircular harbour out here and all around the outside of it there are these quaint old-fashioned buildings and narrow streets. It is the kind of thing that if you had a huge budget and you wanted to do this show you would, you would wish you could construct that. We just thought it would be fun to come and film in Cornwall reprise a, a, a role that Martin had vaguely done in a film, Saving Grace, because he loved it down here. Thank you, thank you. We are very familiar, you know, we have, I don't know what percentage of the crew, maybe 60% have been with us throughout, it certainly feels like that. Um, and relationships have, have grown and are established, not just between the, the crew is itself, but between the crew and the cast and the community, because we kind of live in the set. Most of Port Isaac is for hire, um, and so uh, our crew are living in Port Isaac, uh, as well as filming Port Isaac, and it's really kind of nice. And because it's so remote here, and we use as many local crew as we can, but there aren't that enough to do the whole thing down here. So an awful lot of people are away from home. You know, the team has been together for a long time now, which is the mark of something really good. Each year we return to this incredible little smuggler's village in Cornwall uh, uh, to, to what is known as a family. Most of the actors all know each other uh, and also the crew. I get to spend a lot of my time inside, mostly sat behind a desk. Um, so I don't have to battle the elements like the other actors do, but when we are out and about, it's just amazing how many people are there. And also because I'm staying in Port Isaac, even if I'm not working, if they're filming in the village, I can just see all these hordes of people and I think, well, Martin must be down there. Well, it has a lot of um, plus sides because it's so beautiful. It's such a relaxing place. that people do allow us to reuse their properties. And there's a, there's a balance, you know, we, they, they get some money, never enough. Thank you. Thank you. I think we've, we've been very fortunate that there is a constant continuity within the locations. Because Port Isaac is exactly the same now as it was over a hundred years ago and nothing's altered down in the bottom part, when I walk down to work in the morning to the pottery, it is just like walking in a film set. We started filming in 2004 in this um, Port Isaac, which is known as Port Wen. And the first year, obviously, it's not been out, so no one knows it, so it wasn't, it was not even an issue. And by series two or three, there was a he there was a lot of people, a lot of English people coming first. And certainly last year, I would say there was more Australians, New Zealanders, um, were coming down to the village, and were saying they'd come here to see where Doc Martin was filmed. Because it's been running for some time now. Um, the amount of people who turn up and visit Port Isaac um, uh, um, is, is extraordinary. We, we, we now get them as far from Japan, we get them from uh, Argentina, we get them from all, all, all over the world. And especially um, the, the amount of people that seem to come from the States is extraordinary. I actually arrived in about 11.30 at night, so it's pitch black chucking it down with rain and I'd had all these images of it just being like the show and just being beautifully sunny all the time and it was not like that but then woke up in the morning to beautiful like green sea and little boats bobbing around and seagulls and just thinking oh this, this will do this will do for four months I'm perfectly happy to be here <laughs> so it's lovely. When we're filming exteriors we always try to give the appearance of throwing away the background. We, we don't linger on backgrounds and then come into sort of close shots of people talking. We try always to focus on the characters and in reality put a great deal of effort into putting them into um, beautiful situations. It is, it's wonderful moving here and, and the strange thing is even though it's a small village, you're not really on top of each other, you know, as actors. Um, I think it's a lot to do with there's no signal and, on phones, so you haven't got that thing of I'm here or where are you. You know, you have to sort of judge when you're going out and, and 
quite often you just keep yourself to yourself. So it's, it's really lovely. It's really lovely. But what's really joyful about this show is there is huge amounts of scope for bringing your own things into the show and um, and the way the, the writers sort of use the environment of being in Cornwall and you can see sort of things that are happening in the village, maybe creeping into the show a bit too. So there's a lot of sort of real life stuff happening. Because each year we've done it, I get to know a few more people in the village. I also know quite a few locals. So I, although I'm not quite accepted fully, I have a very good time when I arrive. And so it's a big social occasion as well as making, making the series, which is great. Caroline Katz, the lovely Louisa, she's got a house she adores up on a hill overlooking the village. PC Penhale's down here with his family. Joe Absalom, who plays Al Lodge, his daughter's in school here for the summer. I've had a fantastic time and I've been involved a lot more in the storylines. I've had some great storylines. When you're coming in every, every day, as opposed to the odd day here and there, you know, it becomes more like you're sort of family and your group of mates and stuff. So yeah, I'll miss it. But this is a much more intimate quality about it because you know it's it's a real family feeling and uh, we have a great time it's just marvelous so i will miss it but i'll get over it and we'll come back i hope i'm so lucky that i'm so familiar with this stretch of coastline here i know every inch of it and every rock and all the journeys i take every day um are stunning and beautiful i'm very lucky but it is um it's always so nice to come back and do it again. If we're not here filming, we're at home riding. So we kind of got quite a nice life, actually. We're down in a beautiful part of England. Mm -hmm.